Yeah, hi, what is going on? We are taking Emmett to the hospital again. Here we go. How's it going, Emmett? So, we're waiting to talk to the doctor. Emmett's just having trouble keeping his food down. Uh, you know, it could be nothing or it could be something. So, we're gonna get some answers soon. So, it's been about a half an hour now, still waiting for the doctor. So, we're just gonna watch Emmett's mom, Nikki, do some work. Here she goes. I'm just hooking up his um, G2 extension cord kit here. So I don't need gloves in case anyone's wondering because the stomach is technically a dirty environment anyway, so it's not sterile. Um, you know, if you think about it, kids put their hands in their mouth and their mouth is connected to their stomach, so um, gloves are not necessary. He's uh, getting a dose of baclofen right now, which helps to um, control muscle spasms. I'm just going to give Emmett um, one of his nightly medications, and it is called Symbicort. It's a, an inhaler. Um, most of the time you see people just go, you know, breathe it in but Emmett does not have that ability, so he has something called a spacer. And um, what this does is it just helps keep his airways, like his lungs open at night so they don't get closed off, um, making it a little bit easier for him to breathe and um, have oxygen flow through his system. Um, so the way that this works is it needs to be dry. There's like this little tiny little yellow flap. I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically this goes up against his mouth and nose. And then as he breathes, I don't know if you saw that, but the yellow flap folds forward and then comes back. And it does that for each breath. And because he can't just inhale the medication, um, he needs a spacer to help him. So uh, I wait for five or six breaths and then that way I know that he um, actually inhaled all of the medication. And he gets two puffs um, at night and in the morning. So we're gonna do that. That's one, two, three, four, five. And those were five really good breaths, so I'm gonna call that good. And We'll do one more puff and then that's that. Hey guys, it's now 2 a.m. Um, we got here at 8.30 p.m. Um, we did an x-ray of his abdomen, make sure there wasn't any kind of obstruction or like Volvulus, where it kind of turns in on itself and kind of gets all like messed up. That came back negative, so that's fine. That that is not happening. Um, we did an abdominal ultrasound, and they checked basically every single organ inside um, of his abdomen or his abdominal cavity. So they looked at his pancreas, his liver, his gallbladder, his kidneys, intestines and they searched for the appendix but they couldn't find it which is not abnormal um, for an ultrasound in particular um, just because he had a lot of gas filled up and you can't see through gas apparently on an ultrasound which is something I learned tonight. They had some difficulty getting an IV started because uh, he is very dehydrated after throwing up and not being able to eat or um, digest any food or water. They stuck him a few times, called in IV therapy. That took about an hour and a half to find a vein. Uh, they had to use an ultrasound, which I'm sure there's some footage of that for you. 
but we finally, finally got an IV going. He's getting fluids. This is all good news. And we're staying overnight for observation and to try to figure out why he won't, um, his stomach won't digest food. So we thank you so much for following along and would love for positive thoughts, prayers, and such sent our way. So thanks guys, love you, and hope all is well with you.